Brooks, you're going to be doing some active things here around uh, the Orioles. Tell us a little bit about what you're going to be involved. Well, Tom, thank you. It's nice to be here. Nice to be back with the Orioles. It's been a long time. I, I did the games on television with two or three Zimlin and from 78 through 93, and then I have uh, took off for the rest of the time, but it's, it's nice to be back. But, you know, the Orioles are very active in the community. They're always trying to get people to come to the ballpark because this setting is just amazing. I mean, I've been to a lot of ballparks, and this one is at the top of the line of baseball parks, and uh, it's a wonderful place, exciting place, so that's the main thing I'm going to be doing. I don't want to be involved in any baseball operations, you know. I'm, I'm strictly here to help the, help the Orioles as far as being a public relation guy and uh, trying to get people to come to this ballpark and see what a wonderful event it is. How you doing? Good. You, been in, you getting in line? How about the fans, the way they've treated you and how much, uh, you know, the fans have been a part of your life here in Baltimore? Well, they have been a part of my life. and. Uh, I didn't, I, I, I didn't call them fans, I called them friends when I little talk I made, and they really were. I just, I run into so many people even now, you know, that uh, the, had a little baby named Brooks, or, or the, they saw me when I was 12, 12 years old, and, and that's important. I, I feel great about it, my wife Connie does too, and, and uh, I love to say hello and meet people, and. Uh, saw a couple of policemen come in and walk, you know, outside the stadium. I just introduced myself to them, and I don't know if they knew who I was or not. But anyway, we, we had a little chat for a second today. But I love people, and uh, uh, that's where I think I can help the Orioles. And we'll find out what my job is. I don't, and uh, you know, if it doesn't work out, Tom, that's fine too. But I think we're going to have a great relationship. You always had a great relationship with the fans, the community, right, and absolutely. everybody loves Brooks Robinson. Yeah, and that's what we want to do. This is a great ballpark, and we want people to come out and enjoy the game. And hopefully we win winning some games. That's when you win, that helps bring the fans in. I share this day today with my adopted hometown because the people of that town have supported Brooks Robinson not only on the good days, but also on the bad days. 83 Hall of Fame. Yeah. What was it like that day when you went to the podium? Well, it was sort of unreal, you know. My mother was there, my dad was passed away, but uh, it was a wonderful uh, moment in my life. I mean, I never thought about the Hall of Fame until after the 70s series, and then wherever we would play, someone would say, hey, Brooks, you're going to the one, you know, World Series, and or going to the Hall of Fame, I mean. And I started to think about it then, but you know, when it's all said and done, you got 400 plus writers, and you got to achieve 75% of the vote to get in. And I got in on my first ballot, but it's been a wonderful part of my life, and I'm looking forward to going up there again real soon. We we have a ball. All the guys are in the Hall of Fame, have we? you know. And I don't think it. You know, it's like one percent of 19,000 ever make it to the Hall of Fame. And I certainly didn't think of it. I just wanted to start in the minor leagues and, and get to the big leagues and play. And I wasn't worried about anything else. Why do so many people respect you and love you the way they do? Well, I think that's nice. I don't know. I have any idea. I, you know, just want to be treated like people treat me. I like to give a little love back to them. And uh, that's the way I was even in high school and everything. I, I enjoyed meeting people and having a relationship with them. And, couldn't be better.